the more that I study West African music and dance, the more passionate I become about it, and the more deeply I feel I am comp absolutely compelled to go to the land. To try and get more of a personal understanding as to why Africa draws so many Western people. something that's reserved for the stage or reserved for church on Sunday. This is a daily activity. This is something we bring into, you know, whatever. Standing in the kitchen. Standing in the garden. Standing in the bank. Walking down the aisle in the supermarket. Living the spirit. say this in Vienna uh, speaks to all cultures. The, the worms, the, the parasites, the scorpions, the snakes, <laughs> I'd be terrified. An old man once told me that you don't play Mbira music for yourself, no, your friends, but for the spirit. Through this music, I am a butterfly and mm, that's what Really, I am, Ben. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's cool. <laughs> oh, another thing that he said was, this is not their culture that we're visiting, this is actually our culture. It's ancient culture for us too. Outside Zimbabwe, the whole world could benefit from that knowledge, that ancient windstorm, which unified people. Everything is the colours of the earth. The art is deeply connected to the, the roots, you know, the green and the brown and the clouds in the sky and the water. They don't have to colour the scene in the way they do in Senegal because of the abundance of nature that's here. Mam fal kamanga, bay fal fal da. you come from? You are black man, you are African, you are a Muri Sheikh Ahmed Bam. He worked for the people who gave a pe peace and love. <laughs> Senegal is 90 percent Muslim, but you cannot tell. Oh, it's not scary. It's not even a little bit scary. It's yeah, then, so then, 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 then uh, we don't, we're not terrorists. <laughs> the fighting who they see are all over in the world is, is the oil fight, is not the Islam. Islam is peace and love, Pacific. <laughs> wearing sequins in every colour you can imagine and these huge wigs and these fabulous makeup jobs. boys too as well, you know, they've got these snazzy outfits and super cool and everyone's on their telephones and cranking out these outrageously cool dance moves. And we have so much in this country to be thankful for and to protect, you know, these beautiful rivers, amazing bush beautiful birds and unfortunately they have been abused to a degree already and the time is short so now is the time if we're going to manage to preserve and turn you know turn things around there's a, a lot to be learned 
from Indigenous cultures who are still operating in a sustainable way, you know, actively operating as a community.